Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Batman movie. New poly bags, posters, books, and more. And don't forget about the Talk Bricks holiday giveaway explosion. For any of my videos in December, simply comment and subscribe, and you could win a prize. There are now two new Lego Batman movie poly bags that have started showing up in stores. The first one is popping up at Target stores, and is called Batman in the Phantom Zone. This set is set number 30522, and it features the minifigure of Batman, which is the same exact one that we got in the Mr. Freeze set. The build here looks really interesting, and it's unclear what this is meant to represent, but the three red dots at the front makes me wonder if it might be some sort of a micromanager, like we saw in the Lego movie. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Phantom Zone in the comics is from the Superman comics, and it represents a prison world that the Kryptonians use to house their greatest enemies. And it would certainly be interesting if Lego Batman found himself in the Phantom Zone, but we'll have to wait and see to find out. The other poly bag has been found at a Legoland Discovery store, and it's set number 30523. The Joker Battle Training. This set is a simple build with a dummy of Batman, and the Joker with a large six stud stud shooter. The dummy build of Batman features the Batman cowl, and plenty of pieces that pop off. The Joker minifigure that's included is the one with the long coattails, and he features this insane gun, as well as a base most likely to help him stand up as he uses the dummy for target practice. I was also able to find a few more of the poster images that you'll be able to buy at local stores. These posters look a lot like the previous ones that we've seen with some really great imagery, as well as some really funny jokes. Here we can see a quote from the Lego movie where he says, I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. I really like this poster with tons of funny Batman expressions. And my favorite of the bunch might be this one of the villains taking a selfie. And I really like that the phone he's using is meant to look like an iPhone. Lastly, we get a wanted poster for the Joker, which has the same graphic as the 2x2 tile from the Lego collectible minifigure series. Another cool item coming out for the movie is from DK Publishing, and it's the Lego Batman movie, The Making of the Movie Book. So far, they're taking pre-orders on Amazon for this book for $24.99, and it will feature all sorts of artwork and behind-the-scenes look, from concept to animation to full-blown movie. I'm personally pretty excited about this, and it's going to be so great getting to hear from all the people involved, from the filmmakers, animators, to the Lego designers and the actors. In a bit of Lego Dimensions, news, the Excalibur Batman Fun Pack will be coming out as part of Wave 7.5, and it's an exclusive to Target stores in the U.S. Just recently, Target.com set this product available for pre-order, so definitely get your pre-orders in if you want to make sure you can pick it up. Finally, we have our first look at two of the official costumes coming from Disguise Inc. for the Lego Batman movie. These two kids' costumes will be of Lego Batman and Batgirl, and are similar to the costumes from Ninjago and Nexo Knights that they had this time. Halloween. But as you can see, they come with a tunic, detachable cape, pants, a mask, and a pair of hands. These definitely look a little bit silly. The only thing wrong with that is that they don't have one that'll fit me. So the Lego Batman movie news never stops coming, and I can't get enough of it. February 10th definitely can't come soon enough, as I can't wait to see the movie. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about the poly bags? And will you be picking up any of the other stuff? Don't forget, your comment enters you for the Talk Bricks Holiday Giveaway Explosion. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time you've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to watch my full review of the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigures, and don't forget to subscribe.